So in this video, we're talking about radians. Now, radians are a measure of an angle. Radians are a measure of an angle. Now, you guys are used to talking in degrees. So if a skateboarder is riding through doing a really cool trick, you might do like a 360. That means he turns through one whole revolution. He might do a 720, two spins, a 1080, three spins. You guys are used to talking in degrees when you want to talk about an angle. If someone does a 180, you know that means that they turn half a turn. You don't always have to use degrees. You can use radians, and a radian is a different measure of angles. In an alternate reality, skateboarders aren't talking about doing 360s, they're talking about doing 2 pies instead. Let's talk about radians and how they're measured. So coming up with a radian is fairly straightforward. You've got your circle here. Let's draw a radius on the circle from the line to the centre. Now, the way that you figure out one radian is to take that length, which is about the length of my pencil, pick it up and move it along the outside of that circle. So this is the same length as this because they're both radiuses. And because of what I just did with my pencil, this is the same length as well. This curve is the same length as this, which is the same length as this. Now if that's true, this measure of angle is going to be equal to one radian. One radian is going to be there. Now if I keep working around the circle and I do a sort of similar thing there's another radian. There's another radian. You can see that there's almost three radians in 180 degrees. Almost three radians. Now that's related to the circumference of a circle. You'll remember that the circumference of a circle is equal to two pi r, pi times the radius. What that really says is that the circumference of a circle is equal to 3.14 times the radius times 2. That means that half of a circle is equal to pi 3.14 times the radius. So that means that there are 3.14 approximate radians in 180 degrees, approximately. If we want to be exact about it, we can say that there are pi radians in 180 degrees. From that, we can do a whole bunch of stuff. Pi radians in 180. 2 pi equals 360 degree. There are 2 pi radians. That means there's about 6.28 radians in 360 degrees. Pi on 2 radians is equal to uh, 90 degrees. That means that half of pi, about 1.55, something like that, 1.57. Uh, pi on 4 is 45 degrees. Pi on 4 radians. That's a fourth of a straight line. Pi on 3 radians is equal to 60 degrees. That's a third of a straight line. A straight line divided by 3 is 60 degrees. Pi on 6 is equal to 30 degrees. Now we can represent that on a circle in a, in a slightly neater way. Let's do that. So if I make this my starting... Actually, let's make this our starting position. That makes more sense. If this is my starting position, then this angle is 180 degrees, or pi radians. If I start here, this angle 
is pi on 2 radians. If I start here, this angle is 60 degrees, or pi on 3 radians. This angle, or 45 degrees, is pi on 4 radians. And this angle is pi on 6 radians. You've got to know this. If we go all the way around the circle, that's 2 pi radians. If this looks familiar, it is because it's all about that unit circle. We're going to come back to the unit circle again. You'll be able to find all of those angles in the same way you did in the past, only we're going to be talking in radians instead of degrees. All right, let's do a little bit of like process stuff. <clears throat> 